Hey folks, Will Brink here, www.brinkzone.com. Uh, common question I want to try to cover today is on birth control pills and uh, weight gain or preventing muscle gain or fat loss, that type of thing. That's a common question I've gotten over the years and uh, actually a really difficult question to answer uh, succinctly. I mean, we always suspect that uh, some people put on you know, excess weight when they go on birth control and yet some don't. Um, the problem with answering this question uh, easily or, or with science or with a definitive answer as you might want, of course, is uh, the doses of these pills have changed over the years. Uh, now there's a, a lot of them that have different ratios of estrogen to progestins. Uh, there's different types of estrogens out there. So this makes for a really complicated uh, formula as to figure out what exactly do these pills do in terms of weight gain and of course you all know controversies exist in terms of uh, some studies show increased rates of breast cancer some show no effect heart disease it's it's a big complicated topic so I'm going to try to keep this narrow just to the issue of weight gain uh, and mostly the athletic interest of women who are interested whether it uh, has an effect on their ability to build muscle uh, and up until recently you know there was very little to go on and in there has been a few recent studies that head in the direction of, it appears that birth control pills uh, clearly reduce anabolic hormones. And by anabolic hormones we mean uh, IGF-1, uh, testosterone, or at least free testosterone, which means uh, estrogen increases uh, SHBGs, which means the testosterone is bound up. Uh, and, and the problem, again, with answering this is that even within these studies, they find differences between uh, different types of pills having different effects. Some of them had minimal effects, so that is they, they didn't uh, prevent the women taking them from uh, uh, building muscle or suppressing their important hormones, and some were quite suppressive to uh, DHEA, uh, testosterone, and so on. So it's a really tough, a tough uh, picture, uh, scientifically speaking, to give great answers here. I would say that on the whole what we see or what we're seeing is that the pill, the pill, and the problem with that is there is no such thing as the pill anymore because again there's so many of them at so many different doses with so many different ratios of these different hormones that it's, uh, it, it, you really have to look at each one by itself and that is almost impossible to do. So I would say on the whole however it's a, it's a fairly uh, accurate statement to probably make that most of the time the pill is going to make it more difficult to add muscle mass and that is due to probably the suppression of the anabolic hormones and it makes perfect sense that uh, estrogen uh, is suppressive to anabolic hormones it is in men and there's no reason it shouldn't be in women and up until fairly recently we have taken those hormones for granted in women especially testosterone uh, and now of course the last few years or so you know it, studies are starting to show that testosterone is very important to women uh, as it is for men uh, in different ways and in different amounts and so, but that's the, that's the ticket there. Uh, what I'll do is I will link this uh, video, uh, of course, to the Brink Zone with some, some of the studies I'm talking about, uh, and you can read them yourselves and make your own impression. Uh, I don't want to give you a black and white answer to this because there really is no black and white answer. I would say that for most athletic women who are really concerned with optimizing their training, that is gaining muscle mass, and losing body fat, uh, I would probably say the birth control pill is not an optimal way to go. But the problem is you can probably find one that has the right mixture for you. And you can probably, if you're working with the right doctor, find a way to balance off some of those negatives. It might be by taking some uh, additional DHEA and of course getting blood work and working with your doctor. There, it might be a little bit of testosterone. Some doctors today are catching on to the fact that adding a small amount of testosterone to Birth control can have quite a few benefits to women and a number of other questions and answers. But that's my basic answer there for you. And I hope, uh, I know I'm not being terribly uh, uh, conclusive for you, but it's the best I can do and still be honest and still give you the information you want. So if you like this video, uh, you know, please hit the like button and the Twitter. And uh, see you all on the Brink Zone. Now for more information on this topic, head on over to www.brinkzone.com where you'll find my blog. More videos for reports on fat loss, muscle building supplementation, fitness health and longevity, as well as a ton of articles in my free weekly fitness newsletter. And I'll see you all on the Brink Zone.